Welcome to this week's Movie Math, where Peter Parker has got to feel like he's back in high school all over again, with cool kids and stoners trashing on him. Yes, while The Amazing Spider-Man 2's second weekend drop of about 60% was within the range of normal for a summer blockbuster, there was nothing normal about the debut of Neighbors. Coming in 15 million ahead of industry projections, this is Seth Rogen's biggest live action opening to date, more than doubling the debut of This Is The End last summer. Was the secret weapon Zac Efron? Hmm, but Efron hasn't posted these kinds of numbers since High School Musical 3 back in 2008, and it only went downhill from there until Rogen found him in a box office ditch. Then maybe the secret weapon is Efron's abs? Hmm, but you could see a whole lot more than just his abs in that awkward moment, which opened it under 10 million. Perhaps, as I stated in my review of Neighbors, the magic comes from Efron finally embracing the persona Hollywood has thrust upon him and having a little fun with it. Kind of like how Robert De Niro breathed new life into his own career by doing the same thing with his tough guy persona. But either way, this boffo debut will only strengthen Rogan's position in Hollywood's comedy community while it could very well give Efron his career back. And director Nick Stoller must be thrilled as the movies he directs usually just make about 50 million total. Also with Bridesmaids, X-Men First Class, the Insidious franchise, and now this, while Hollywood and audiences finally recognize Rose Byrne as someone who has something to bring to the table. Overseas, Neighbors was also surprisingly strong, opening in 29 territories and taking the number one spot in 16 of them, with the UK and Australia standout debuts. Now again, a 60% drop for The Amazing Spider-Man 2 isn't horrendous. In fact, most blockbusters, even the universally loved ones, drop somewhere in the 50s in their second weekends. Spidey would have had to plummet mid to high 60s to really sound the alarm. And if Neighbors had opened like it was supposed to open at around 34 million, Spidey would have just narrowly held on to the number one spot. But that didn't happen, signaling what could be a deathmatch summer at the box office. I mean, sure, neighbors trashed the webhead, but Godzilla is expected to absolutely crush them both next weekend, who in turn will be sliced and diced by Wolverine, and so on. Yes, while we're not sure if we'll have fun watching all these movies in the theaters, at least we know we'll have fun watching them at the box office. But what do these numbers mean for the future of Sony's Spider-Man Cinematic Universe, which the studio has clearly bet on so heavily? Well, at this rate, it's unlikely that The Amazing Spider-Man 2 will be able to beat the first movie's domestic haul, which means once again it falls on the foreign box office to save a blockbuster blunder. Right now, Spidey is webbed up around 400 million overseas and could potentially surpass the first movie in that category. However, as many of you have already pointed out, Sony spent around 250 million to make the movie and then another 200 million to promote it. Considering that studios only get half of a movie's box office haul, the other half goes to the movie theaters, The Amazing Spider-Man 2 would need to make $900 million just to break even. So what, Sony just assumed their sequel would join the Billion Dollar Club? Well, not necessarily. They could have been depending on DVD sales and streaming revenue down the line, but with seriously mixed word of mouth, is that still a realistic assumption? Sony also could have been looking at this as an investment in a future where there is a Spider-Man cinematic universe, a future that now might not exist. Seems with this universe, Sinister Six writer-director Drew Goddard is Atlas. Elsewhere in the box office, the other movies fought over crumbs. Well, the other woman got a pretty big crumb in its third weekend, proving to be savvy counter-programming once again. And the silver lining is that while there might not have been a lot of cash to go around here, at least everyone's drops were pretty low, with the exception of Brick Mansions, which tumbled yet another 60% in its third weekend. Why can Spidey get away with that kind of drop and Paul Walker can't? Well, as I said, this is Brick Mansion's second 60% drop in a row. Spidey won't get a pass for that either. Plus, blockbusters drop significantly in their second weekends because they start out with numbers that are very hard to maintain, whereas Brick Mansions open with just under 10 million. But Mom's Night Out and Legends of Oz, Dorothy's Return, wish they debuted with 10 million, as the newcomers were forced to battle it out for numbers 7 and 8. Both tried to take advantage of emerging trends. Legends of Oz, Dorothy's Return with animation, and Mom's Night Out with faith-based films. That was a faith-based film? Yet another advertising fail for Hollywood. Finally, in the specialty market, looks like John Favreau's favorite dish is revenge served cold. 
Chef is Favreau's way of stepping back and cleansing his palate. After Iron Man 2 got him kicked off of the franchise, and Cowboys and Aliens got him kicked off of blockbusters in general. But Robert Downey Jr. and Scarlett Johansson proved their loyalty with appearances here, which helped boost awareness for this low-budget comedy, and the result is a very strong debut in limited release. He topped recent limited releases Bell and Locke and found himself in fading gigolo territory, but Grand Budapest remained elusive. Still, this has got to recharge Favreau's creative batteries and self-respect as he preps Disney's The Jungle Book for production. As for this weekend, yes, Godzilla is coming! The King of Monsters is expected to have an awfully big box office footprint, most likely striking out Disney's million dollar arm. And that's the weekend box office. I'm Grace Randolph and we just did some movie math. As always, thanks for watching, and I hope we'll go beyond the trailer for these other top movies.